Hello, it's me, Mr. Mustafa. Welcome to my geography class. Today, we are going to see conventional signs and symbols used in the topographic map from the chapter Landscape Analysis through Map, 10th Standard Geography, Unit 4, Kerala Syllabus. Various features on Earth's surface are represented in the topographic map by using different colors and symbols. These colors and symbols used in the topographic maps are internationally accepted ones. Why the color used, the symbol used are internationally accepted? The reason is very simple. Because the map prepared in one country can easily be understood by the people of other countries. For example, a map prepared in India can easily be understood or can easily be analyzed by the people of Pakistan Bangladesh or European countries, Gulf countries, American countries. That is the reason internationally accepted colors and symbols are used in the topographic map. Signs and symbols used to represent the road. Now let us see how roads are represented in the topographic map. Look at the first one here. Two parallel lines in red color. And two parallel lines in red color that can be straight or curved. And it represents a metal road. Metal road. And second one is, you know that you can see two parallel lines, but broken. Broken lines. And they represent an unmetal road. Unmetal road. And here it is what a dot. Dot in line. Linear dot. And it is, you know, that a food path. Represent what a food path. And here a single line in red color. And it is, you know, that a cart track. Cart track. Like what a uh, horse cart track, bullock cart track, cart track. And this one uh, represent a road with a bridge. And here this is what the symbol of a bridge. And here road, road with the bridge, but both in red color. All these are what in red color. What are the signs and symbols used to represent railway? And here we see, you know, how railways are represented in the topographic map. Look here, the first one in black color, this one in black color and it is railway, but broad gauge, railway broad gauge. And second one, here it is also what in black color. But here a rectangle is there inside RS is written. That meaning railway with the station. Railway station. Railway with the station. And third one, black color. This is also also a railway track. But a railway with a meter gauge. Railway meter gauge. Here railway broad gauge. Here railway meter gauge. And here it is, you know, the level cross. This uh, red uh, parallel lines road. And here it is what a railway. So what a railway track and a road crosses. So what a level cross. And this one black color you can see what a railway track. On either side you can see what the symbol of what a bridge. So railway with the bridge. Bridge in red color. Railway in black color. Signs and symbols used to represent a boundary. Now let's see how boundaries are represented in the topographic map. Look here. These are the symbols used to represent the boundaries. All are in black color. Look at the first one. This symbol is used to mark international boundary. And this one for what state boundary. You just compare thicker one, thinner one. International boundary, state boundary. This one is what a district boundary. And this one is what a taluka boundary. Just compare here. Again, this one is thicker, longer. And this one is what thinner and short. Taluka boundary, district boundary, state boundary, international boundary. All are in black color. How water bodies are represented in the topographic map? Next, we have to see water bodies. Water bodies are represented by using these symbols and color used is blue. Look at the first one, this one. It represents a stream. Stream. Stream in a topographic map is represented by using this symbol. 
and this one is what a river river is uh, represented in a topographic map river and this one is you know that a tidal river tidal river and here tidal river you can see in a, in a arrow arrow is here and water is what marked tidal river and here you know cross blue cross cross with blue color and it is what that is spring spring and here it is a blue dot and this a blue dot is well ordinary well and here it is you know that a blue triangle and this blue triangle is tube well blue triangle tube well so here it is blue triangle tube well blue dot ordinary well blue cross spring and here it is what an arrow cross with the water bodies and here it is what a tidal river and here it is river and this one stream all are in blue color water bodies let's see the signs and symbols used to indicate vegetation so here we are going to see how vegetations are represented in the topographic map these are the symbols all these symbols are represented by using green color look at this one this is how grass represented grass this is how palm represented this is the symbol used for palm and here now this one is for what a coniferous trees that it tree with the conical shape that is what a conic what a coniferous trees and this one is what that a bamboo bamboo this is how bamboo is represented and here you can see a thick green color and oval shaped symbol and inside it is written dense forest this is how dense forest is represented and here it is in a circle oval elliptical broken and it is what a reserved forest how settlements are represented by using different symbols look at the symbols this is how settlements are represented in the topographic map all these symbols by using red color look at the first one square filled with a red color red color filled a square and it is what a permanent house and a red square and here it is what a temporary house permanent house full filled with what a red color and here it is what that a temporary house and this is what that a clustered settlement that meaning where houses are very seen very close to each other as you see in pudiyangadi clustered settlements and this one is you know the dispersed settlement you can see what a road that goes and one or two houses one or two houses what some other places this is what that dispersed settlement and here you can see you know it can be a road it can be a railway track it can be a water body linear one on either side houses are there so what a linear settlements let's see the signs and symbols used to represent the monuments and buildings in the topographic map so here we are going to see monuments and buildings how monuments and buildings are represented by using symbols in the topographic map look at the first one it is in red color this is how fort is fort is represented fort fortress fort and this one is what that a temple 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 you note you know that one is there entrance is there to the building entrance is there the other one is there a flag temple most important the striking feature is their flag and this one is what that church and on the top you can see what a cross is there cross there is a symbol for that a church here and this one is what a mosque mosque you can see a tomb and two minaret and entrance is also there this is what that a mosque and this one is what that a tomb tomb you know there a building in which a body is buried tomb and here not a thing is you know that on the top there is no flag no entrance and it is what that a tomb and here all these things are what uh, in red color this is what that a grave graveyard burial ground and here it is in black color not red the black color and this is what that light house represented light house and here what a red square 
a square filled with a red color but near to that one it is written dispensary and it is for the health center and here it is in a oval shaped red what uh, oval shaped or what uh, elliptical circle and inside you can see what a symbol of what aeroplane and this is what that airport certain abbreviations are used in the topographic map what are they let's see so here are certain abbreviations used in the topographic map and all these abbreviations are given in the topographic map in black color see the first one in black color po meaning post office to telegram office and pto post and telegraph office and ps meaning police station ib meaning inspection bungalow and rh meaning what a rest house all are in black color bold letters what are the methods by which elevations or altitude height are represented in the topographic map here we are going to see how elevations or height altitude are represented in the topographic map look at this one smooth curved lines contour lines in brown color contour lines in brown color to represent the elevation or height or altitude and this one a line circle but broken brown color and here it is what a form line form line and these two are in brown color and all rest in what uh, black color and here it is in a black dot near to that black dot a number is written and it is what a spot height sometimes without a black dot number in black color is uh, written it is what a spot height and you can see here what a triangle again black color and this is what a triangulated height triangulated height and here it is you know two block letters are written there bm and near to that one number is written here it is what a benchmark height so these are the five methods by which a height is represented in the topographic map told you first one is that contour line what is contour line contour line is an imaginary line drawn by connecting or joining places having same or equal height above the sea level that is contour line second one is what that form line when when it is very difficult to measure the height of a place through land survey that height is represented in a topographic map by using form line and third one is what uh, spot height and this is what the actual height of a place actual height of a place is represented by using a black dot and near to that a black dot the number is written that is the actual height of that place sometimes it is done without a black dot only number is written and this one is what that a triangulated height sometimes it is very difficult to measure the height of a place because of what a rugged topography or some other what reasons then the height of that place is measured by using trigonometric survey and this is called what a triangulated height benchmark it is a method by which the height of a prominent building like a tower mall or what a reservoir what a reservoir is what a measured and height is written there near to that height bm benchmark bm in block letter is written now let us see which are the colors used in the topographic map for what they are used and first one is what a black color black color is used in the topographic map to represent the latitude longitude railway line all railway tracks boundaries non perennial rivers non perennial rivers meaning rivers or water bodies that may go dry during certain seasons in an year so to represent these things black color is used blue for water water bodies that is what a perennial rivers the river that uh, do not 
that doesn't go dry that is what blue color then lake what a pond ocean sea blue color is used green all type of vegetations all type of vegetation green color is used yellow for cultivable land cultivable land yellow is used white color is used for what a barren land barren land meaning the land that may leave fallow uncultivable barren barren land red color used for what a grid for grid meaning what a we know that east things and their value north things their value all roads we know that metal road unmetal road food path car track and all type of what roads bridge red color is used brown is used for what a contour lines in brown color form line in brown color sand dunes in what a brown color so these are the different types of color used in the topographic map that's all for today thank you for watching me